As you may have noticed if you visited my website, I like playing with lighting. <laughs> and uh, I, I did one using bluebells about a year ago, and uh, I was doing that recently at a workshop, and came up with a slightly different twist, and I thought I'd show you on this picture. I've got a feeling it's called a celandine or something. Beautiful little white flower, the sun comes up, it opens up, the sun goes in, it closes down. Right. Growing in the woodland, you can see the lighting just coming through. Nice shadow in the background there. Got these lovely leaves sort of just set out from the mossy background. And I thought, is there a lighting effect we can apply to this just to give it perhaps even a little bit more relief from the background? So the first thing we're going to do, we're working on the background layer itself. We're going to go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filter. This is telling us it's going to become a smart object. We're going to click OK to that. Through it goes background layer is now layer, layer 0 with a little sign telling us it is in fact a smart object or smart filter. You could have also right clicked and chosen convert to smart object. It does exactly the same thing. For the lighting effect we're going to be using filter. We're going to be dropping down to render. We're going to be going to lighting effects. When lighting effects opens it looks something similar to this with the spotlight. We're going to change this to Omni. This one here we can see it in the preview, that's the before, that's the after. If we click on this, we can move this around, something into that area there would be pretty good. we got little grab handles which we can pull out to make larger. That looks good like that. Yep. Coming in, we've got on. I think that's off. We've also got negative, we got full. We can bring it down to back to off, back to on, and we can just drop it down a little bit like that that area there. Great stuff. Right, coming down to properties, we have got shiny, we have got gloss, we have got matte. I think I'll go into the matte being as it is a plant. If it was a metallic object like a car, yep. But let's go into the matte on this and you can see the difference. Grab hold of the slider, whack it up, drop it down. Well, it does if you grab, <laughs> grab hold of it. You can see that it does, yeah, I think it looks much better on the leaves. Right, material, plastic, metallic, Again, we're going to drop it down. Some plastic flowers. The exposure we got under, we got over. Guess what? That's going over. This is going under. I'm going to take it to that area net there for now. We got the ambience. We got the positive, which brightens the whole thing up. So we can drop this down into that sort of area there. Just taking it slightly into the positive. I like the look of that. Something else I like to do is just come up to the intensity there, coming to full, clicking on this brings up the colour picker and just moving this out slightly into the, you can see there's our current, there's our new, it's just going to warm things up very very slightly. Click OK to that, through it goes and there it is. Perhaps just a little bit too powerful, you can see the before and the after. So what we're going to do now is come back in, come back to the intensity there, just taking the intensity back a little bit like that looks pretty good. I think that's probably where I started off, but just coming back in a touch or two with that. I'm also going to drop this in just the shade. I noticed it was just a little bit too much. Now coming down to the exposure as well, let's just try that down into the negative. Click OK. That's better. We've got the detail there now. So you can see there's the before, there's the after with that. But there's more. If we double click again, this time we're going to come and we're going to grab hold of our light bulb taking our light bulb in as we drop it in it becomes the spotlight we can now swing this around I'm going for the same direction as we've got the shadow coming through grabbing hold of the little grab handles pulling this out like that that looks pretty good like that yep coming through Spotlight on or off. You can see the Omni one is still there. It's that little dot just behind. So we got the full. If we just grab that up, the full, we come down into the negative. That's beginning to look better. That's just removing that little bit of distraction in the top left that we've got. The focus we've got wide, or we got a narrow beam. I'm going to go for a bit of a narrow beam for now. We got the mat. We got yeah. We'll leave that as is. We got the exposure which we can take up slightly. And again, we've got the ambience there, which we're going to take up a bit more into the positive side. Something like that looks pretty good. Again, just playing with the exposure. 
I'm playing with the full just to make sure we get the detail. Clicking in, this time I'm going to go for a bit of a yellowy green just to give a little bit more colour into it as well. And if we click OK, let's take a look. There it is. Looks pretty good. You can see there's the before, there's the after. Just concentrating now more onto the leaf itself. Something else you might like to try is the little parallel lines there. If you click on this, you can come in. You can see that's the detail we've got going on in the picture there, which is uh, like in all that. We can come in. We can just choose to reduce the effect a little bit if you want to by just using the opacity slider. This is the blend in options for the lighting effect. I'm going to click cancel. What you might like to do if you're being a little bit more on the experimental side is drop down to texture channel. Now with texture channel, none, change to red. Dropping down, we got the height flat to mountainous. You're cooking on Mount Everest there. You can drop back down. Let's go into the Snowdonia range, something like that. 25, let's give that a try. Click OK. And pow, through it comes. You can see the texture coming through there. You can see this leaf is now really looking if it's standing out from the background. There's the before. There's the after. Let's just double click again. Worth trying it. I'm just going to switch off when white is high. Click OK to that. See the difference that makes. And I think if we go from that to that. I think I prefer the original one, which is leaving it on when white is high. I'm just going to come in and just check out a second the exposure here. Just want to give, make sure we got a little bit more detail in our working on the spotlight. A little bit more detail in our saladine what it's called. I think it's called Salandine, something like that. Right, if you want to click on this one here, it takes us to the ambience one. No, it's not. It's the Omni one. But it was close. Right, coming through. Just taking that up a touch or two like that. And uh, yeah, exposure. Again, just bringing that, making sure we still got the detail. Click OK. There it is. Job done. It's a great way of just exploring the light and don't forget we can come in we can come to levels taking a look at levels I'm gonna hold down the alt or the option key the reason for doing that holding down the alt or the option key clicking on the light slider here you can see a little touch of blue just bringing that through you don't want to go for the white that's where it's clipped so just bringing that in a touch or two that can start there doing the same for the blacks holding down the alt or the option just making sure the little black areas they're not going to worry too much about that and just grabbing hold of the, the center slider, the gamma slider giving it a little bit of a nudge if you just see there's the before, there's the after that'll do nicely job done go on, give it a try, it's a great way of just exploring what you can do with lighting effects the lighting effects filter don't forget it comes with a mask as well so if you want to do something like if I just press G to pick up the gradient tool got the radial gradient set on foreground to transparent you can come in if you want to and just sort of remove if you're not too keen on that patterning from the background just remove a little bit of that if I just drop the opacity down to 30% and just come in so we're just keeping the texture there in the leaves there it is job done using the smart filter with the mask. Don't forget, save this in layers as a PSD file. You can always come back. There are the numbers we put in. You can change it for both the Omni. He says, trying to grab hold of it. You can click and you can grab hold of the spotlight as well. You can move that around. You can make any adjustments on the settings here. Click on it, drag it over, pop it in the trash can if you want to get rid of it, and you can plant another bulb. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.